hello friends uh, welcome back uh, so this video is about how you can manage the multiple jdk versions in our local so why this question come because uh, that the point is that since jdk started releasing the multiple versions uh, uh, in the six month scatter and you have to always be updated and you have to try the features in your local and how you how you can achieve that and uh, you can do that with the help of definitely we can go ahead and change the uh, system variable path definitely uh, that environment variables uh, you wanted to edit and those environment variables you wanted to keep updated and always set the particular JDK let's say uh, you have application and you wanted to try that application to be run on your machine okay and you wanted to try that with the JDK 8, JDK 11 or whatever the long term support JDK version you have or let's say there is minor change but you wanted to check or validate whether your code is working fine or not so how you will do that validation or how we'll see switch between the multiple JDK versions seamlessly on Windows machine how you can set uh, so for that uh, as usual we have the one one way you can set up the JDK path use uh, with the system uh, variable you can go here and pa at this path or you can set the uh, like a java home path right java underscore home and use that path here right like a this way also you can set java underscore home slash bin and you have to create the jdk bin uh, path as well okay so how you will set that uh, you can create the like a java home okay java underscore home and provide your path here like a, C C slash C colon slash program file something like a JDK 8 or JDK 11 or something okay so this way you will achieve but if you wanted to manage or switch to the version then again you have to come here update to the JDK 11 JDK 13 JDK 14 15 16 17 18 whatever the version you want right and always wanted to try and then go ahead and run the program so this is working fine the, the, there is no doubt that this is not working okay this is working seamlessly okay if you go ahead and uh, go to your cmd and if you if you try to find the uh, version of your current jdk you can easily find out let's say java see version okay it's it but how how you'll manage the multiple version so don't worry what you have to do you have to just uh, i have installed on my local few jdk versions like jdk 8 jdk 9 jdk 11 and 17 okay so if I have to switch in between this three, okay, anytime, what I did, uh, we can use and leverage uh, the bat file on your Windows machine. Okay, you can create this kind of a bat file, okay, like a JDK8 bat file, where I have created in the program files, I have set the JDK path here. Then I have mentioned the in the path, update the path variable here with the Java home, put the your bin slash and append, append the existing path variable and the message uh, to convince us that this JDK version is activated. Similarly, if you go here and check the JDK 11 version, same thing I did, okay? Same for JDK 17 I have created, same for JDK 9 and tomorrow if you wanted to create for any another JDK version, let's say JDK 11, JDK 14, JDK 15, you can try, you can install any number of JDK version uh, on which JDK version you wanted to try and run your code base okay so this is about creating the file and then the best thing is that i have created one folder called jdk scripts so you have to create a similar folder you can create this folder in any location okay and inside that for each jdk version you have to uh, mention the file names okay similar file names but difference with your jdk path or even you can create your one, one single file as a jdk and you can put the condition and based on that you can switch as well but to maintenance perspective and have a convenience i have created the different jdk version for each jdk version i have created one single file so and then copy this path wherever you have and go to your system variables okay and here you can edit this path environment variables okay and you can remove your jdk version better or you can, if you wanted to keep default you can keep here then go ahead and edit and add this path okay where your all the bad scripts are here okay then go ahead click ok 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 then launch your cmd okay and remember the file names okay where if you put your name like a mahesh 8 mahesh 9 mahesh 11 that is also fine but remember that name then you can mention let's say we will validate any jdk version is set or not here okay so it's not recognized but we have set the scripts so let's say 
we will see jdk 8 okay what is the file name you have to just put jdk java 8 is activated let's say is it true or not or it is just same thing in the logging mechanism oh bingo it's working let's say you wanted to switch to jdk 11 you can mention okay and you can validate that as well let's say you wanted to switch to again to the jdk 9 you can go ahead but it is not working but what do you have to mention jdk 9 not the java 9 because the file name is jdk 9 if you mention your name that is also fine you can mention and use the same name here while running the command okay so jdk 9 is activated so even you you can ma manage the multiple minor versions as well let's say 9 9.0.4 or 9.0.5 and you wanted to validate your piece of a code with that for your production support you can do that as well so that's it uh, if you wanted to try for mac os as well or linux system how you can manage the multiple versions uh, you will find the link in the description I, i'll do that as well so you can easily manage the multiple jdk versions on your machine easily so that's it uh, let me know if you have any uh, better way to handle this jdk version and if you are managing already kindly let me let me know in the comment section thanks guys